Hello everyone, welcome back to Placepin Buddies. Today we are going to discuss the online test questions of Traders Analytics which came last year and are most likely to get repeated this year as well. So if you are preparing for Traders Analytics then this is the ideal video for you to watch. In this video we are going to discuss the quantitative, logical and verbal ability questions of Traders Analytics and in the later part we are going to discuss the pseudo codes as well. Okay, so stay tuned. So for now, let us start solving the quantitative, logical and verbal ability questions. So the first question is, a locker contains password of four digits. Alice forgot her password and she is trying all possible combinations to unlock the locker. She took three seconds for each try. The password is a combination of digits from zero to nine. Determine the time taken by Alice to try all the combinations. So since from zero to nine, we have 10 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so we have 10 digits in total. So the total combinations for 4 digit password will be 10 into 10 into 10 into 10, right? So which is nothing but 10,000. So for each combination, 3 seconds are needed, right? As given in the question. So total time will be 10,000 into 3, which is 30,000 seconds. Now, if we convert 30,000 seconds into minutes, then we get 500 minutes which is the right answer so option b 500 minutes is the right answer so let's go to the next question i don't want vacations at hostels dash don't allow pets this hostel dash has a nice beach view is not a good option for me because it does not allow pets so the right answer here will be in the first blank it will be that and the and in the second blank it will be which okay let's go to the next question which of this is the active form of the following sentence? So basically you need to uh, change from passive voice to active voice, voice change. Okay. The company website is updated frequently. So according to me, uh, the active form of this line will be the company website is frequently updated by us, right? If uh, this thing is not there in the option, then the right answer will be none of this. Okay. So let's go to the next question. A railway line consists of 15 railway stations. A ticket is required to travel between any two stations. Ek station se dusre station jane ke liye ticket chahiye. And ek railway line pe 15 railway stations hai. Okay. So determine the number of tickets that the government must create for smooth functioning of the ticketing system during all possibilities. So here, from a single station, if a person travels to 14 stations, then he needs 14 different tickets. Right. So total 15 stations are there from one particular station. A person can go to 14 other stations, right? So for going to 14 other stations, he will need 14 different tickets. Also, it is given that there are total 15 stations. So from each station, 14 tickets. So total ways will be 15 into 14. That is 210, right? So option C 210 is the correct answer. Next. What is the best alternative for the phrase that is highlighted in the following sentence? The Lions, a strong team, compete against the Cowboys that play tough defense. Okay, so according to me, the correct answer here will be option B, Cowboys who play, right? Instead of they play, it will be Cowboys who play. Okay, next, I have dash in a hammock before. So here the correct answer will be laid. I have laid in a hammock before. Okay, moving on. If you remember to do your dash, course dash your mother will appreciate you so here the first option which is every day comma every day this one will be the right answer okay if you remember to do your everyday course every day your mother will appreciate you right now let's go to another problem we have a mixture of 70 percent orange juice and 30 percent water we take out 5 liter of the liquid and then add pure orange Okay, so basically, we a mixture hai in which we have 70% orange juice and 30% water. Us mixture se humne paach liter deduct kar diya, hai? and then we added pure orange, orange juice. Now, if the mixture now contains 73% orange juice, then what is the total volume of mixture in liter? Now, let the total volume be x. Now, since we have, you know, we had a mixture of 70% juice, orange juice and 30% water. So we can say 0 0.7, which is 70% of X minus 5. Since the total volume is X and then we took out 5 liter of liquid. So X minus 5 and it's 70%, which is 0 0.7 plus 5 liter. Since we have like uh, taken out 5 liter of the liquid will be the total uh, volume, you know, 
so 73 percent orange into 73 percent of x right so the equation will be 0 0.7 into x minus 5 plus 5 equals to 0 0.73 into x from here you will get 0 0.03 x equals to 1.5 and finally x equals to 50 so that uh, correct answer will be 50 liters option d the word stationary refers to here the correct answer will be paper and writing materials option a next Bob is so dash that it is nearly impossible to offer him constructive criticism without him taking it personally and acting defensive. So here the right answer will be option B obdurate which means stubborn. So basically the meaning is Bob is very stubborn that it is nearly impossible to offer him constructive criticism. Okay, so whenever we do any constructive criticism towards Bob, he takes it personally and acts defensive, right? Okay, so moving on. The next question is Ben's age after six months will be three seventh the age of his father. If 10 years ago the ratio of their ages was 1 is to 5, then what is the current age of Ben's father? Right? So, this is a very simple problem of ages and ratio proportion, you can say. So, what you can do is that you can take Ben's age as X and Ben's father's age as Y, and then you can put all the condition over there and you know you can solve equations of x and y finally the answer which you guys are going to get is option b 50 years right so moving forward the next question is interest earned on a principal of rupees 6500 over a period of one year is same as that for the principal of rupees 4500 over a period of two years so basically here you need to do all the calculation with your simple interest formula which is PRT by 100 and uh, finally you need to find out what are the rates of interest if the sum of the rates is 10. So the answer which you will be getting is 40 by 11 and 70 by 11 option D right. Next comes a simplification using Bodmas rule. So as you can see there is a very long expression given in the question but you don't need to get confused whatever you see you just break it down into steps follow the Bodmas rule which is bracket of division multiplication addition and subtraction so proceed with that formula and finally the answer which you are going to get in this question is minus 2069 divided by 30 option a right next he often receives dash on his paintings his paintings dash any doctor so basically it's a kind of tongue twister like you need to find out the correct spelling of which compliment will be there in which blank so he often receives compliments okay compliments matlab tarif he often receives compliments on his paintings his paintings compliment any doctor okay so the second compliment will be this compliment c o m p l e m e n t and the first compliment will be this and since this compliment is somehow plural because paintings pay milta hai usko compliments so it's not ki bas usko ek hi bar compliment mila ho so this will be option a compliments comma compliment right he often receives compliments on his paintings his paintings compliment any doctor okay so the next one is what is the best alternative for the phrase that is highlighted in the following sentences universities today offer a large number of courses and it has improved the quality of education so we need to basically substitute a large number of courses and it has so basically what we can do is we can write universities today offer so many courses so many course that they have improved the quality of education so option d so many course that they have will be the right answer next Determine the number whose 7% is 35. It's very easy, guys. Let the number be x. 7% of x is 7x by 100, right? Now, according to question, this 7% of this number will be 35. So, 7x by 100 equals to 35. Just do the cross multiplication. Find out 7x equals to 3500. x equals to 3500 by 7 or x equals to 500. So, option A, 500 will be the right answer. Next. Which of these is the incorrect word in the following sentence? Gardening is a good hobby that helps reveal stress. So instead of reveal, it will be relieve stress. So fourth one will be the incorrect word, right? Next, if a plus one by b equals to one, b plus one by c equals to one, then what is the value of c plus one by a? So do simple equation solving and you will get the value of c plus one by a equals to one as well. So option c one is the correct answer. Next, 
you need to simplify this uh, given equation okay so 15 whole 1 by 4 minus 1 by 3 divided by 7 whole 3 by 4 plus 13 whole 2 by 3 so the answer which I got is 10741 divided by 372 which is not there in the option so I guess the answer will be none of this guys so uh, correct me if I am wrong but uh, for the time being the answer is none of this okay the next the next thing is a passage is a reading comprehension question so basically what you, you can do is that you can just pause the video or you know you can just take a screenshot of it and you can try it once you will go through the entire comprehension you will see the correct answer is option a an economic depression and second world war hit europe right moving on the next question is which of the following sentences is the passive voice form of the following sentence after driving mr bob to the museum she dropped him home I guess the correct answer will be Mr. Bob was driven by her and was dropped home. Okay. So the next question is the sum of money becomes five times at CI in two years. In how many years will it become 55.9 times? So basically you need to uh, solve this question using your concept of compound interest. And once you solve it, you will get the answer as 5.4 years, right? The next question is based on probability. So a ticket numbering system used by a parking company is such that people who are issued a prime number ticket are more likely to get a discount on their parking rates. What is the probability of picking a prime number ticket if the ticket numbers range from 1 to 30? So once you apply your uh, concepts of prime number and probability here, you will get the answer as 1 by 3. Okay. If you face any difficulty while solving this problem, please comment below. We will get back to you. Right. So the next thing is. What is the essence of the following sentence? The not knowing is crucial to art is what permits art to be made. So I guess the answer to this question will be option A. Not knowing is important for an artist to imagine beyond his limitation. Right. So, so let's move forward. Which of the following sentences has an error? Number one, until I received that letter, I was hoping to have had a visit from John. Follow the main road for a mile. Then you need to take the next road at the left. The people to watch closely are the ones ruling behind the political scene. Give the tools to whoever can use them best. So you need to tell which of the following sentences has an error. Is it one and two both or is it just two or just three or fourth, right? The next question is in a farm, there can be either cows or chickens, right? One day the farm owner counts the number of heads and legs in the farm, excluding himself. When the heads are counted, it comes out to be 80 and when legs are counted, they are 280. What is the number of chicken in the farm? This is a very, very interesting question, guys. Let me give you the opportunity to solve this in the comment section. The answer which you will get is 20 option A. Okay. Next, John's age after 15 years will be five times his age five years ago. What is his present age? Very simple. Let us assume the present age be X, you know, John's age after 15 years will be X plus 15 equals to five times his age five years ago, five times X minus five. And you are there with the value of X, which will be 10 years. Option A, 10 years is the correct answer, right? So the second last question in this series is identify the errors in the following sentence. The candidate Bob Smith is of an undetermined age and he uses this ambiguity to his benefit. You need to say which part is erroneous here. Is it undetermined or is it and or is it uses or there is no error in the sentence. Okay. So comment below with the right answer. The last question for this series is identify the errors in the following sentence that the grade point average of the student who paid the most attention in class increased dramatically during the semester came as no surprise to the teacher. So I guess the correct answer here will be option C came. So with this, we are done with the aptitude, verbal and logical questions. Let's go ahead and solve these pseudo codes, right? Okay. So before proceeding further, let me tell you guys, there are 12 bonus questions related to data interpretation, statistics and pie chart, which I have not discussed in this video. Okay. So if you need those questions, you need to mail us at placementbuddiesofficial19 at the rate gmail.com. Just like you did in the last video of Elstom. And I must tell you guys, 
I am overwhelmed by seeing your responses in the mail. So I hope you will mail once again today as well and you will take all your questions of data interpretation, statistics and pie chart. Okay, so without wasting any time, let us go to pseudocodes. So now we are going to discuss the pseudocode questions, right? So the first question is this. You can pause the video and you can think of its output. So here, what basically is happening, 10 modulo 2, 10 modulo 2 is 0, right? Because when 10 gets divided by 2, the remainder is 0, right? So 0 into 3 is nothing but 0, 0 by 2 is 0 again. So the correct answer is 0, option B. The next question is very simple. Here, int c equals to 2 to the power 2. So the value of c integer is 4, right? So the correct answer is 4, option B. In the next question, we have to evaluate this expression int x equals to 1 modulo 2. So 1 modulo 2 is basically 1. Okay. So 1 into 3 is 3. 3 by 2 is 1.5. So uh, ideally the answer should be 1.5, right? But since it is an integer type data, so the value of x will be 1 only, right? So the correct answer is option C, value of x is 1. Okay. Moving on. Here, uh, since star v is given, so basically v is storing an address, right? Since it is storing an address, so array 3 minus 3 will not have any value which is defined previously. Okay, so this will print a garbage value, right? So option B, garbage value is the right answer. Now, let this question be the homework question. Comment below its answer. We will go to the next question. Here, what is happening? int x equals to 6, y equals to 4 and z. So basically we need to solve z, right? So first x will be there which is 6 and then it will be incremented and plus y will be there but before you know getting into it y will be decremented by 1. So basically 6 plus 1, sorry 6 plus 4 minus 1 which is 6 plus 3 so the correct answer will be option D 9, right? So in this problem, we have in C out 1 space K. Uh, now K is basically I modulo minus 2 and I is 5, right? So 5 modulo minus 2 is supposed to be minus 1. So the correct answer according to me should be 1 space minus 1. So no such option is there like 1 space minus 1. So here the correct answer will be none of this, okay? So now this is again a very simple question 1 plus 4 will be calculated at first which is 5 and the square of 5 will be 25 which is nothing but our answer or the output option D 25 is the right answer okay so the next question is this I guess there is a problem with bracketing or something so maybe there will be compilation error I recommend you to check it in your compiler itself okay and the last question let this be the homework I suppose the answer should be 2.1, 3.1, 4.1, which is option B. But I'll wait for your comment. Okay. So these were a few pseudocode questions which I wanted to discuss in this video. I hope you all will rock it in your individual online tests of Tredens. I wish you all the best. Don't forget to mail us at placementbuddiesofficial19 at the rate gmail.com if you want the remaining questions on data sufficiency, pie chart, data interpretation, etc. So that's it for today guys. Milte hagle video pe. Bye.